Most people, when they have flat arc, it's because their body's out of position to be able to get arc. Your body is in the right position, you just don't lift. So I'm assuming we're capable. We, I might, maybe there's a shoulder issue, we'll find out in a few minutes, but I'm assuming you're gonna be able to lift, you're just not in the habit of doing it. And as soon as we can learn to lift, the ball's gonna go higher, it's gonna be dropping down on a bigger target. You'll make more shots just on the fact that the hoop got bigger. Now, there will be an adjustment period where you're, you're so used to doing this that that's gonna feel weird. We'll have to practice and get better at it, but I don't think that'll take you very long. We wanna make the situation easy enough for you to actually do something differently and then difficult enough that it resembles a, 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 the game as much as we possibly can. Now, the game isn't our priority yet, the new habit is. Let's just put the ball up at your set point, where, which is where the mistake happens. You get to a good set point, okay? You just don't lift out of it, you shoot at the hoop from it. So hold the ball there for a second or two, and then lift up in the air. Good. Even more than that. Now, hold it there, so put it up, good. Two, three, lift, good. Give me a new mistake. If you're used to, if the mistake that you typically make is this one, obviously we want to try and do it right, but we're, we're gonna make mistakes. Just don't make the same old mistake. Make a new one, go too high, okay? Yeah, try and find, yeah, that one. Ball up at your set point here, one, two, three. Lift up in the air and see if it can drop down on the hoop there. One hand, yep. Good. Base, guide hand to side, but don't touch. Two, three, lift, good. Nice! Imagine while you were doing that, somebody came in and installed a square of backboards around. You have to go over the imaginary backboard. Same drill that we were just doing, but now you have to go over an imaginary backboard. It's good. Now stop there. Is that a game body posture? Yeah, so what did you change? You went a little wider. That wasn't the thing that I necessarily needed to feel, but then you did that a little bit more. We don't necessarily need the power for this. You're a big, strong guy, but we may as well get used to being in that body position while doing this drill so that we don't have to learn to use that later, okay? So game body posture, two, three, lift. There we go, now we're starting to, as much like a game as we can make it, as easy as we need to, to actually build a better habit. Okay, now let's make this a slightly harder in a very simple way. Start in triple threat position. We haven't measured the, your hand, we'll do that in a second, but get your hand on the top of the ball, pointed at the target, then to that set point that we've been working on, not this one, but this one, get the guide hand off, hold this for a second, then lift. So just starting from triple threat. So triple threat, up to the set point, guide hand, oh, now when you do that, only the ball moves, your body doesn't. And then the whole body fires from there. So stay down, good, now go, yeah. All right, now let's measure your hand. I want you to put your index finger along the Ellen Wilson here, okay? When you do that, and you spread your thumb out wide like you did there, no, don't go, don't go wider, right there. That's how much you're covering this side of the ball, and it's almost exactly the same as what you're covering on this side of the ball. That's the middle of your hand. We then need to make sure that the middle of your hand is on the very bottom of the basketball at your set point, okay? If the middle of your hand's on the bottom, you'll push both sides evenly, and the ball will go straight. Push one side a little bit more than the other, where's the ball gonna go? Right. Push one side a little, little bit more than the other, the ball's gonna go which way? Okay, we gotta be right on the bottom, and then we gotta be, put the ball back up there. This finger parallel to that line between you and the hoop. So not here, and not there, right there. So when coaches talk about elbow in, they should be talking about that. Triple threat, A position, B, right on the bottom of the ball, right along that target line, lift, okay? Good, 
really good. Yes, such a good shot. That's the one that we're after. We've got one perfect one today. Let's see if we can get five perfect by the end of by the end of the day. So good, 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 good. As soon as you show that, okay, I'm doing well with this simple situation, I'm gonna add more. We're gonna add more to make it uh, more like a game. We're going now A, B, C. We can make that a little bit more difficult just by going A, B, C. We do things a little faster, okay? Play with the speed and the distance. And I would say the distance, we don't wanna to go too much farther because we're not getting our great results yet where you find a good challenge, where you can do things right, but it's, you make some mistakes here and there. Okay, good. Now one simple way we can make this more like a game, slightly more like a game, is this, in a game you're not gonna shoot from the same spot over and over and over again. So every, every shot go to a different spot on the floor and play with the distance, like instead of shooting 11 foot shots over and over and over again. Give yourself a 10 foot, give yourself a 12 foot, give yourself a 10, give yourself an 11, give yourself 10, give yourself 12. Just bounce and now we're getting at least some variety. Different spots on the floor, move around because you can handle that for sure. So there's kind of two parts to what we're doing right now. What are we working on? Right now we're working on lifting. That has to happen. And then the other part is in what environment, in what kind of a situation are we working on it and finding that challenge, okay? So no matter what we're doing, this is what we're working on. Okay, now give me a hop straight forward. So starting here, almost in A position now, but hop forward, land, B, guide hand off, lift. Don't speed up the shot necessarily, but we're adding movement into it. So hop forward, good, A, yeah, B, lift, yeah. What I want you to learn is if you stop that movement because you have good balance, that's no, that becomes a stationary shot. That is, this is not that much harder if you can stop the, the energy. Then we're gonna start to play with the situation and say like, all right, let's create more energy, see if we can stop it in this situation, okay? This is, that was your best shot of the day. Now we're at two great ones. Great lift. Okay, you're over here. Hop sideways. Is it that much? Yeah, so just from here, hop to the side. B, lift. Great, fantastic. So start here hop and turn, and then A, B, C. Good. Keep your legs bent until the ball gets up to that set point. Don't fire with the legs too early. Good. Good boy. Doing really, really well, Marco. Good. Still start in A. Middle of your hand right on the top of the ball, pointed at the hoop. Take four seconds to get to your B position, guide hand off, and then just accelerate out of that. So start slow, get to the guy or get to the set point, and then accelerate without stopping. Your guide hand comes off when you start accelerating. One, two, three, guide, go. Yeah. And so the slow part, we're just going slow so that you can make adjustments to where your hand is as you lift. And then you can feel where that set point is and accelerate out of it as you get better at that. We're gonna give you less time. We're just gonna say, okay, set four seconds. Give me three seconds, slow to quick. One, two, three, go. Good. Hop forward into three seconds, slow to quick. So back up a step. Up, one, okay. Don't let your legs push too early. Keep your legs under you. Excellent, great shot. Good, good, good. So if we can make moving shots 
as stationary as possible by having good balance will make them easier, okay? What, what kind of body position do we need to be in to be balanced, to be stable? Show me. Don't even worry about explaining, show me. Good, have enough width in your feet that you can stop that and then enough width between your knees and your hips that you can stop this, okay? If you're losing your balance forward or back, we need more width between here and here, okay? If you're losing your balance this way, we need more width between there and there, okay? Turn your back to the basket. You okay if I push you? Yeah. You're gonna think about doing this. You're gonna jump, turn, land. While you're doing that, I'm gonna push you to get you a little bit more off balance. I want you to land, A, B, guide hand off, C. You're turning away from me. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. And adjust your body position so that you can stop that, all that energy, and make it stationary as quickly as you can. Two, three. Good. Okay, you start with the basketball in your hand. I now want you to jump as far as you can to the side, land on two feet. Not because two feet is right, just because it's actually harder, okay? You have to then stop all your energy in one step rather than slowing it down here and then stopping it there. That's kind of cheating for this drill. Push as far as you can, either direction, stop it on that hop, A, B, C. Good, 